What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Shane here with Fatboy99 Productions and we're here back in the Crown Vic and in today's video we are going to drop the drive shaft out of the Crown Vic, replace the U-joints and I've got a little bit of sort of a modification. I've got a drive shaft loop. It's a safety precaution just in case your drive shaft ever falls out and it won't cause any damage to your vehicle. It'll stay in the loop and not hit your bottom of your car and cause any damage. We're on the way to the father-in-law's house. The wife's gonna meet us there in a little while. And when we get there, I'll show you a glimpse at the parts and everything. And then I'm gonna show you how to take out your drive shaft and install everything. guys so we got to my father-in-law's house and as you can see here this is the drive shaft loop that we're going to be installing for protection just in case the drive shaft new joints ever you know bust we're not going to have an issue with the drive shaft flying up and hitting into the car doing anything like that you know that's who it's from but i actually got it from adtr uh online and i'll link uh everything you know but we're going to jack this car up and these are Moog U joints, but yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jack up the car. Put the jack. Get it jacked up, and we'll catch you when we get underneath. All right, guys. So I'm under the car here, <laughs> and one thing I noticed. It's hard to see. This is very awkward positioning that I'm in here for this drive shaft so first thing I notice is up here the drive shaft bolt is not all the way in and then I put the wrench on here and I barely turned it and the bolt came loose and that's just not right for something like this you know I mean these are supposed to be torqued down and everything and I barely did anything and the bolt just broke loose but I'm gonna pop all this out and get this drive shaft out of here. And then we'll work on the U-joints, guys. Catch you in a minute. All right, guys, we got the drive shaft out. It was a little bit of a maneuvering. Had to take a little bit of the uh, exhaust and uh, lower the exhaust a little bit, but got it out. The main thing I was concerned about, though, is the bolts to the rear end. They, they weren't tight. They weren't torqued out or nothing. So that, 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 I think, is causing the vibration at highway speeds that I've been getting. So I've got new bolts, and we're going to torque them to spec and everything. But I'm going to spray this down with PB Blaster. We're going to get these U-joints out, put in the new ones, and try and get this bad boy back in. So, guys, I, I had to run to the parts store. I, I actually got the wrong size uh, universal joints. Got the right size now, the 232 Moogs. So there are two different sizes. If you have an aluminum drive shaft, they're actually a little bit bigger in the bearing cap size than the steel drive shafts. So got these, we're gonna pop out the rest of the U-joints on here, install the new ones, and then pop this bad boy in and pop in this drive shaft loop. All right, guys, everything's in. Drive shaft's in. U joints, the drive shaft loop. New drive shaft bolts in the back. But we're all good, guys. Got the exhaust part mounted back in so we could get the drive shaft out. If you got an X pipe, it's a little hard. You gotta maneuver it a little bit. Well, that's it, guys. We're gonna see, hopefully, that this takes care of the vibration. Cause like I said, the bolts in the rear were extremely loose but yeah once we get on the road and check it out i'll get with you guys all right guys so made it home everything seems good uh new things that'll be coming definitely gonna get some new tires possibly also the lower control arms in the front uh, gonna do those in aluminum instead of the steel uh also it did take away a lot of the vibration at highway speeds so that's a good plus um, I'll be able to take it to maybe more meets now, uh, you know, further away ones, 
Uh, also, um, I had a couple little videos that I was going to add in here. You know, one showing me put the drive shaft loop up in place, but the GoPro had a, you know, card failure error and it corrupted the files. So the one you'll see is it in place, um, but it's pretty self explanatory. You know, you use your two uh, driver side and passenger side uh, uh, inside bolts. That's where it mounts up to. So yeah, and that gets into place. Um, but you know, thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone if they're planning on doing this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So like, and subscribe.